Hey, Drago again. Welcome back to the Next.js 14 series. In this video, we are going to focus on improving your developer experience or TX by setting up Prettier and ESLint. If you're not familiar with these tools, Prettier helps keep your code clean and consistent by automatically formatting it, while ESLint helps you catch errors and enforce coding standards. Together, they make your life as a developer much easier. So let's jump right in and set up these essential tools to boost your TX. ESLint helps you maintain consistency across your project, catching potential bugs and enforcing coding conventions that go beyond what TypeScript can do. Now let's get started with setting up ESLint. In the previous video, we already initialized an Next.js project. So you should have a default .eslintrc.json file provided by Next.js. It will look something like this, right? With extending next slash core web vitals and next slash TypeScript. This basic configuration ensures that your code follows the Next.js core web vitals and TypeScript guidelines. But we're going to enhance it by adding some plugins to make your development process smoother and more tailored to our setup. Here's a list of packages and plugins we'll be using. Yeslint, Yeslint config next, Yeslint config prettier, Yeslint plugin tailwind CSS, Yeslint plugin unused imports. First of all, we need to install the packages. You can do this by running the following command in the terminal. The command can be found in the description below. Now point to be noted, make sure to keep ESLint on version 8 or specifically 8.57.0. Do not upgrade to ESLint version 9 as it currently has some breaking changes that aren't fully supported in this setup. Here's the final ESLint configuration we're going to use. Let me walk you through this file. First of all, we have plugins. We're using Tailwind CSS to lint our Tailwind classes and unused imports to remove any unnecessary imports and variables. Next, parser options. This ensures that ASLint understands the modern JavaScript syntax and TypeScript when parsing our code. Extends. We're extending the default Next.js configuration, prettier for formatting, and the recommended Tailwind CSS plugin configuration. Rules. These are custom rules we're adding. Semi, error. We turn off the Tailwind rule for custom class names. The unused imports plugin will warn us about unused imports and variables. Settings. This allows us to configure specific settings for Tailwind CSS and Next. And last up, ignore patterns. This ignores certain folders like node modules, .next, and others to prevent ESLint from unnecessarily checking them. With this setup, ESLint will help you catch errors early, enforce good coding practices, and integrate seamlessly with Tailwind and Prettier. Now that we got ESLint setup, let's move on to Prettier. We'll create a Prettier rc.json file in the root of our project and we'll add the following configuration. First of all, we have trailing comma. We set this to ES5. Tab width. We're using four spaces for indentation. Semi. This enforces semicolons are at the end of statements. Single quote. Set to false, meaning we'll use double quotes for strings. Tailwind config. This points to our tailwind.config.ts file. Plugins. At i slash Prettier plugin dash sort dash imports automatically sorts imports based on different criteria prettier plugin tailwind css this plugin ensures your tailwind classes are sorted in a consistent order to make this work we'll need to install the following packages i will also write them in the description below with this setup prettier will take care of code formatting and additional plugins will keep your imports organized and ensure your tailwind classes are well structured now let's say it in action. Now remember we had a file called page.tsx. Let's actually move to that file. We have eight warnings and most of the warnings are from the Tailwind classes. So why is that? Let's hover over them. So it's clearly saying invalid Tailwind CSS class names order. So basically it checks whether the orders are valid or not. So what we can do to fix it is quick fix and just hit fix all auto fixable problems. And now all the warnings are gone. Now currently by default Next.js provides us spaces with two indentation. So if I hit save, it automatically goes to space 4. And all I need to do is just hit Ctrl Shift P and reload window. And now have a look over here. We have spaces with four indentation. I think you remember about semi error. So if I remove it from here, it gives me an error over here. As we had the prettier plugin installed, I can just hit Ctrl S and it will automatically place the semi for me. Now we have ESLint and Prettier setup, which will greatly improve your TX by keeping your code clean, consistent, and error-free. In the next video, we're going to dive into setting up the file structure for our project, organizing components, pages, and assets to keep everything structured and easy to manage. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. 
But before I finish up, I want to let you in on something exciting. If you're enjoying the content and want to support me, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash it's TRVGO. As a subscriber, you'll get early access to all my videos a day or two before they go public on YouTube. Plus, you'll be able to see exclusive behind the scenes, get sneak peeks of upcoming projects and much more. It's a great way to stay ahead of the curve and get involved in shaping future content. Also, if you have any questions or need help with anything we covered, don't hesitate to join our Discord server. I'm active there and it's the best place to connect with me and the community. We'll find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.